There is this island in Mexico that some claim to have the best beach in the world. It's called Islas Mujeres. Isla. The island of the women. Uh, this was back when men were fighting for equality. It's a tiny island, 12 kilometers off the coast of Cancun. In some areas, there are less than 200 meters from coast to coast. Islas de hombres? No. No. A fun fact is that this tiny island actually has an airstrip, but unless you have very rich friends, this boat will be your only option. Two round trip tickets were $48. So Isla Mujeres is actually a Mayan fertility clinic. So women would come there to get pregnant. The island is a short 20 minute boat ride of stunning views and wind in the hair. Here's a preview. I just want to stay in this little bay. How do you get around, Amelia? Buy golf carts. We can't rent the golf cart until 9 a.m. They say early bird gets the warm. The warm? They have a lot of cool souvenirs here in Mexico. Normally when you go to these souvenir shops, it's like in other countries it's just garbage. But here, it's like, look at this. It's made out of stone. But what do we do here? We enjoy the beach. We are on a Canarian island actually, because we are in the Canarian Sea now. So... Canarian Sea? I think it's called the Caribbean Sea. I mean, the fact that we are about to explore the island in a golf cart says a lot about how idyllic this place is. So the professional travel vloggers uh, didn't bring the license. The entire video is jeopardized. Fortunately, the beach was just a short walk away. You know how they say that everything happens for a reason, right? And I think we forgot the driver's license for a reason. It's a blessing to... in disguise, at least. Yes, because I don't mind spending the day in this water. This is officially the most beautiful beach I've ever set foot on. So the climax of this video is already here because Playa Norte is why people come to Isla Mujeres. This area here, it starts to get a little messy with the Sargosa. Sargasso. It's basically the poop of the ocean. Why can't we afford a yacht? Ah, this is wonderful, yo. Can we stay here all day, please? I don't need to explore the island. For once in my life, I'm okay with being on the beach the entire day. Normally I couldn't spend more than 20 minutes, but here it's like, I can live here, literally. And here you got three times spring break. Yeah, Brittany, let's fucking go. Remember earlier when I said early bird gets the worm? Worm. Worm. That is true because now the beach is absolutely packed with people and loud music. Not having the golf cart is just, you need to have that. We keep fighting the fact that this is an island to stay on the beach and tan and do nothing. We keep fighting it by making it more interesting than because it is. You but this is an island to dive, to snorkel and to beach. That's what you do here. Mm. <laughs> Mary, remember to follow the eight step guide to washing your hands. Tienes bien tacos? Sí, taco de rachera, pollo y... Lindo, lindo, lindo. So we decided to pick two different taco stands to support the whole community, you know. Or just to see which one is better. <laughs> this is the best taco I've had. What do you think about Isla Mujeres? I think it's a paradise. It's beautiful. What, what, what about all the people here? Uh, nice people. Not too many tourists. Um, a lot of tourists. <laughs> we, we are tourists. <laughs> look. You don't see it as a downside? No, no, no. What's the best thing about Isla Mujeres? Um, the beaches. Yeah. The, food, the tacos. Round two, Amelia. Yeah, I'm excited. From Mexico's best beach to perhaps Cancun's best tacos, we continued our slow motion island exploration. First impressions of Isla Mujeres were good, but it was obvious that it isn't a place rooted in Mexican culture. Although Amelia already said it, I kept fighting this fact. I wanted the island to be more than it is, which led to a transportation crisis. 
it was too warm and we needed energy. Luckily, the pharmacies here have all the good stuff. I may just want to lay on the beach. We're kind of fighting here, like, I may want the beach. I want to make a video that is not only the beach. Who's in the right? You're not you when you're hungry. There has to be drug tourism. People just coming here to get all these things. And stubborn as Jon is, we found an alternative way to see the island. What's your name? Uh, Francisco. It's Francisco. My, my really name, but too many bodies call me El Rico Suave. So we made a deal with the, a taxi to take us around for one hour and show us the island. But here you get to see just how important it is to have that buggy because that is really the way to get around. Look how much fun they're having on this. Our first stop is overlooking this water park and I kind of wish I was in that water right now. It's so freaking blue, it's crazy. In our charismatic 80s taxi, we continued to the very south of the island where they apparently had a golf cart exhibition. Again, I realized that Amelie was still right about the fact that this island is about the beach and the beach only. Although there is a Mayan ruin that had been destroyed by a hurricane, we weren't impressed. Yo, and I hate to say I told you so, but this island is a beach paradise. And if you try to do something else than that, it's not really that overwhelming, right? I mean, I'm enjoying this trip very much, but very much. When I think about no, you're not no, very I'm much. Not. When I think about, I could have been on the beach, sipping a coconut, enjoying the sun and the white sand and the crystal blue water. I would have preferred to do that over uh, seeing this little park with mud and statues. We should have just stayed at the beach all day long. But we know that for when we come back, Amelia. So the Americans, they already found out that this place is the place to have a, a getaway house. So all the houses you see here, they're owned by the Americans. And um, how can you blame them? What is up with that? It's a con it's a conculia. How do you say it in English? I don't know. Conculia. This villa is actually an Airbnb. And for obvious reason, it's become the hotspot for influencers. Although there really wasn't much to see, Rico Suave still made an effort to give us a good tour. Honestly, the water is calling for me. It's like, yeah. Yeah. His epic air conditioned free taxi alone was worth the tour around the island. This is the first church I have ever seen with an ocean view like this. Come on! Oh, okay. <laughs> continue, continue! Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Sí, gracias. Can you recognize this place, guys? You probably can, but this is the same place as we started out this morning. Despite not being as charming as when we got here earlier today, the conclusion of Isla Mujeres is still that you come here for this. I like this place, but there's no doubt that it's too commercialized. I mean, it's too many people here, but that's just how it is always when you go to amazing places. Don't convert your vacation to a permanent stay. Our three-day layover in Cancun is coming to an end. Now the real Mexico adventure begins. We have 27 days with a program so jam-packed that it makes Tony Robbins look lazy. Our first stop is Mexico City. Or actually no, that's for later. Now we're heading to Mazatlan, located on the far west coast by the Pacific Ocean. They call this Cancun, but with identity. Let's find out. Let's see. <laughs> 